everybody happy thanksgiving belated thanksgiving and welcome to my channel even if you are new here my name is stephanie i'm known as the opinionated horseman and again a belated happy thanksgiving so when i'm filming this it is thanksgiving evening i just actually got back from doing a wonderful evening uh like a late afternoon um early dinner with my family, extended family. Uh, we had a really good time. So I am back and I know it's been a number of days since I filmed, but that is kind of how the holidays sometimes go for me. So apologies for not having a whole lot of content for you guys this week, but I got a whole bunch of weird stuff for you guys. Just a hodgepodge of, I went to the Dollar Tree, got a couple items, nothing huge. Um, got a couple items in the mail. Uh, so let's get into it, you guys. All right. First thing is, so you guys will be seeing this on Black Friday. <laughs> Maybe unless you're out shopping. Um, I love um, a moisturizer that I use. It's from a company called Dermatology. And it is a mineral-based, um, and well, there's two. There's It's a tinted SPF moisturizer. And you guys, I love it. It's super creamy. So they have one that is like a physical SPF moisturizer only, and then they have one that is a universal tint that does have basically um, the UVA chemical um, sunscreen in it as well. So I ordered, I am actually on their... Um, I won't call it influencer program, but I signed up for their affiliate program. And you guys, if you are seeing this from Black Friday to Cyber Monday and you want to try this stuff, they have an amazing deal going on right now. That's why I wanted to share you guys. I got my order. I was able to order early with their, they gave me a code um, that is basically an early access to their uh, Black Friday deal. So this is what it looks like. And you guys, I'm not kidding. I love this. This is a tinted moisturizer with SPF. I love it. Love it. Love it. You guys have heard me talk about it. I'm just going to show you one of them. I ordered four because it was literally a great deal. This is it. So this is the universal tinted moisturizer. I find it to be just a little bit creamier than their physical sun, um, physical moisturizer SPF. So this has an SPF of 46. Their physical moisturizer with SPF is a 44 uh, SPF and just, just just a little less creamy. And honestly, I do have it. I do use it. I generally use it from above the eyes. And then I use this all over my face and neck. And you guys, I love this. It is a universal tint. Um, honestly, it's not that opaque. Uh, it's not really translucent, but it's not that opaque. So I ordered a couple of these in the universal. Uh, and then, yeah, so I ordered four universal. So then you guys remember, I literally just unbagged or unboxed, whatever you wanna call it, unbagged really, my scent box for the month. Remember I said I wasn't sure if the one that came was my actual subscription or my, I got a free scent for um, thank you to one of my subscribers who used my code. So this arrived. So I believe the one that I showed you guys about a week ago was probably my um, free scent for the month for someone using my referral code. And of course I will leave my referral code down below. So I believe this is my, probably my subscription for the month. Um, I don't remember what I got, so. I mentioned on the last video, I like going in and setting up a couple months in advance um, and then not really looking at it because I kind of want to be, you know, a little bit surprised when I get it. So, all right, let's see what they've got to say. Um, so I do have, basically, if you don't like the scent, you get one free exchange each month. So if you really don't like the scent you chose, because obviously this is a great way to test new fragrance, right? Something you're unfamiliar with. Um, and then if you like it, you know, you can at any time choose for that month to get another bottle, which is what happened with that previous video I showed you guys uh, a week ago. So basically you get a packing slip that tells you what's in it. I don't want to look at it. I, I want to be surprised, but I did go through the scents of the month with you guys. For the women, it is a Viva La Juicy La Fleur. And then for the guys, it is the Coach Blue. So I will definitely link that video up here, um, or I'll put the scent box playlist that I have going up there, one or the other. All right, so this is what it looks like, and it always ends up popping open. Let's see what I got. You guys have a couple of them up here. Um, some of them I have in my purse, so, oh, it's pretty. Look at that. So this one's cool. I just got that pretty color, too. So that's kind of fun. Well, let's see what I got. This is Yellow Diamond. All right, let's see what else it has to say. It is Versace's Yellow Diamond. So I'm very curious to see this scent. I think I actually, oh, I have the Bright Crystal. This came from Macy's. This is a Versace as well. I am making a mess, you guys. And then what is this one? That's Givenchy, so, all right. I'm curious to smell this. I'm actually not wearing perfume. I didn't want to wear it tonight because I wanted to be able to test this tonight. So let's go ahead. So this is the atomizer you get. Oh, look, it is a, basically an October that has the breast cancer awareness on it. That is awesome. 
All right, so you get an atomizer and then basically this is your scent. So 0.27 ounces, just pops in there and then screws down. So let's go ahead and see what this smells like. All right, ooh, it's kind of, I don't know how I would describe that. It's very fresh. I like it. So you guys, I don't know if you're aware, but most fragrances do not recommend that you rub, okay? Because that can crush the fragrance. So if you want to do that, you would just dab to transfer it onto, but don't ever like rub. I remember as a kid, we were always told, oh, rub it, rub it, rub it. Well, that actually crushes a lot of the fragrance. So this is a very, very fresh scent. I'm trying to just, how would I describe it? A touch of floral. Wow, I, I don't mind it. It's actually, it's very, it's not as crispy as some of the other scents. This is a very, very fresh um, scent. So this is again, Yellow Diamond by Versace. And I don't hate it. So that's good. I'm going to keep it. I'm just waiting to see. So usually there are three different times of your scents. I don't know if I'm saying that right. You get an initial scent, the initial notes. Usually you get middle notes as the uh, fragrance starts to kind of you know, linger, and then you get the long lasting notes. So I think I'm picking up more of the middle notes now. And I really do like it, you know, and at, fragrances are going to smell different on everybody because it's going to interact with your natural body uh, pheromones. So what smells really good on somebody else may not smell good on you and vice versa. So this is definitely very, very like fresh scent. I get maybe just a very, very hint of an underlying of like a powdery, but it's not strong. Yeah, I like it. And now that it's settling in, probably won't smell it on there. It's a very, very light scent. I would be surprised if this fragrance has a really long lasting effect. My guess is that this is going to be something that you would need to refresh a couple times throughout the day. It doesn't feel strong enough of a scent that where I'm going to feel like it's going to get um, like a long lasting, long wearing effect. So it's that light scent. So I like it. I like it a lot. So very happy with that. Um, so I will leave all the information down below in the description, you guys. If you want to join this, it's extremely inexpensive. This is a great way to try um, fragrances without getting like this is a this is a Versace's Bright Crystal. You know, you get these little ones that you might get like three or four uses out of, and then they're done. Um, so you know, you get 0.27 ounces. It's very inexpensive. Um, I've got this one from Givenchy. It's irresistible. I have to try that yet, but you know, I don't mind getting these little ones but they don't last very long. So, oops, and then I drop it. Um, so it is kind of nice to get, this is supposed to be a month worth of fragrance. So if you use it every day, one or two spritzes, I guess, uh, it should last you a month. And honestly, I don't use it enough um, that I ever, I have actually run one out. So um, yeah, I'm really happy with that. So we got one more thing, you guys. I did go to the Dollar Tree. <clears throat> Most everything, I don't need to show you. I pretty much stocked up on cookies for the horses. You guys know I like to get them the iced oatmeal. I did talk to uh, an assistant manager at my local, very small Dollar Tree, and she told me, because um, last week in the news or earlier this week in the news, it was brought out again that the Dollar Tree is moving towards um, getting rid of everything being a dollar and it's going to come very soon. The price increases are coming. So I asked her about that. I said, any idea when? She goes, I don't know. But she said the window people came and they took all the window stickers off the store, the big front store windows that said everything's a dollar. She goes, those have all been removed. So I said, oh gosh, you think it'll be by the end of the year? She goes, well, as fast as they came and did that, she goes, it could be in a couple of weeks or a week or two weeks. She goes, we don't know yet, but she goes, judging by how fast they came and pulled all that off, she goes, it's coming fast. So you guys, if there's anything that you get that you feel like you're getting a great deal at a dollar, um, go stock up on it because they don't know what the price increases are gonna be. Some stuff's gonna go up to like a dollar and a quarter, some will go to a dollar fifty, but the Dollar Tree did say they're gonna bring in a new inventory at the three dollar and five dollar levels. So I think this is really the Dollar Tree is gonna start to more look like Dollar General where you've got kind of like all, all sorts of prices. So uh, she goes more than likely a lot of the stuff that's been priced at a dollar is going to go up to at least a dollar and a quarter, um, if not higher than that. So just that's my public service announcement, you guys. Get a while getting good because the prices are going up. So I did stock up on a load of birthday cards because um, I don't know, you know, they have the, you know, they have the one section where all the cards are a dollar, but most of the cards are 50 cents each. And I'm like, you know, they may like move up to be more like Walmart where all cards are a dollar. 
I don't know. But anyway, I stocked up on a ton of birthday cards because I was pretty much running out again. So I did get, though, I, you guys, my desk is a mess because I've been working on holiday cards, Christmas cards, holiday cards. Um, and I was running out of holiday stickers. So I got, they were almost out at the Dollar Tree. I did get, I found these at one of the Dollar Trees. Um, these are the little stampers. They're holiday stampers. So if you guys can see, you've got like a little gingerbread cookie. Uh, there is like a snowman. And then there's like an I Love Santa stamp. So let me open them. We can quickly look at all the different stamps that are in here. So we've got I Love Santa. We've got a snowman. This is a neat snowflake. We've got a gift box. <clears throat> Here's the little gingerbread duck guy, little cookie man. We've got, oh, a reindeer. That's really nice. Uh, we've got the old car, which is, I've got Christmas cards that are like the kind of old car. One more, and we've got the tree, an evergreen tree or a Christmas tree. So um, I did get some of these stamps from the Dollar Tree for Halloween, and honestly, they had all dried out on me, and they were almost unusable, so I'm hoping these will work. I'm going to go ahead and test this one out on the back of the Dollar Tree receipt. You know, not great, you know, not great stamping. You guys see that? It's a little hard to see. They're not really loaded up on ink, and I don't know that you could really... I guess if you've got colored ink, you could probably... Let's try the gift box. Try this one. That one has a little bit better, a little bit better look to it. Let's try one of the red ones. Let's try the snowman. Pretty dried out. That's unfortunate. So, yeah, that's a little disappointing. So, I don't know. If I can find some red ink, I could probably re-ink the red ones. I don't know if I would ever be able to find some green ink. And honestly, I'm not really sure I would want to buy it to re-ink those. So, I did get stickers. So these are, um, I had gotten these several weeks ago at the Dollar Tree and it was just all different size snowflakes. And you can see I've been using these up. This is the last um, of that type that I had left. So I got lucky, they didn't hardly have any left, but each one of these is a little different, you guys. So we've got, you know, obviously Christmas trees, snowflakes, bows, bigger, well, I think they're about the same size, Christmas trees, bows, and snowflakes. And then we've got Christmas trees, snowflakes, reindeer christmas tree snowflakes reindeer so those are different sort of the christmas trees are bigger as you guys can see a little bigger and then <laughs> we've got snowflakes christmas trees reindeer snowmen and bows so that's different and then i got you can see these are a little different they're just they're the same but they're put together differently <laughs> so those are fun. Those will be used to enhance cards and things uh, and maybe some gifts for the holidays and things. So, you know, that's kind of it. Like I said, I did get, I think I got a little bit of chocolate. I got a ton of cookies for the horses because, um, you know, it's the holidays and they deserve some, some snackums. Um, but really, that's it. I think I did pick up a toilet bowl cleaner, too, but I'm sure you guys don't need to see that. So um, I am having a really nice holiday weekend. I hope you guys are having an extended holiday weekend. I know some people will be working on uh, Black Friday, and thank you to those who do have to work. I'm very fortunate. I am off for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so I have, like, the holiday weekend off. Um, it's kind of nice. It's nice to relax and get a few days off, spend some time with the family. So, um, you know, it's a time to give thanks. So I've been trying to get things done around the farm. Uh, it was snowing this morning, which was kind of nice and kind of not nice. It isn't sticking yet, but it was definitely snowing. It was pretty, very light, light snowing. It was very pretty. Uh, it was snowing while I fed the horses and stuff. So, but it's just cold now. <laughs> winter's coming even though it hasn't officially started it sure feels like it so let me know you guys how you spent your thanksgiving holiday uh, like i said it was kind of quiet around here for most of the day i got some stuff done around the farm and then we did meet for like i said it was an early dinner four o'clock dinner uh had had all the fixings and stuff i'm currently like stuffed <laughs> but it was really nice to spend time with the family so give a lot of thanks for my friends my family um, my job you guys here on youtube are amazing i absolutely give thanks for you guys every day because um, without you guys I really wouldn't be where I'm at on YouTube, and I don't know if I would continue doing this without you guys' support, honestly. There are times where YouTube is, you know, they, they make it really hard for creators, and um, it can be a mental grind. So, you know, you guys being really supportive is, is really helpful, um, you know, and I don't really have a lot of tolerance for a lot of negativity and comments on my channel. I will absolutely delete stuff like that. I just don't think... 
I don't think that's necessary in the world to be cutting people down. I really don't. So I try to do my best. Um, I did spend a lot of time. I'm trying to kind of trying to grow my Instagram channel as well. So if you guys are on Instagram, I'd love it if you'd follow. I will follow back. It's Opinionated Horsewoman. That's me on Instagram. So uh, hopefully I'll catch you guys over there every now and then. I have to say I don't post there as much as I generally post here on YouTube, but uh, it's a lot of fun. So. So let me know, you guys, down below in the comments, how you spent your holiday, your Thanksgiving holiday. I hope you had a good time. Um, I hope you were able to spend it either with friends or family. Um, for those of you who did have to work for whatever reason, I thank you for your sacrifice and, and giving up your holiday to work for whatever it is you do. I really do appreciate that. And um, yeah, before we go, you guys, you know, like I said, we're getting into the holiday season. This can be really stressful for a lot of people. It can be really, really mentally hard on people. Um, you know, some people are separated from friends and family for whatever reason, and that can be a really, you know, a very much... Um, uh, mental stress. Um, obviously the pandemic's been really hard on people, you know, and the holidays in general are just, it's just hard for a lot of people. And, you know, if you are really finding yourself struggling, there are some resources out there that you can utilize to talk to people, talk to trained counselors. All right. Um, by all means, you know, talk to your clergy or a doctor or, uh, you know, at least let friends and family know what you're going through. But if you just want to talk to somebody you don't know, there's a couple of resources out there you can, um, possibly utilize. All right. First is this 800 number. It's available here in the U S um, you will, you can call 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You'll be connected to trained counselors who can, you know, listen to you and provide you some really good counseling and some resources. And then for those who don't want to actually make that phone call, who prefer texting, there is a really wonderful resource out there. Very similar situation. You'll be connected to a trained counselor. This will be all via text message. In the U.S. and Canada, it is 741741 up here. And then I've got two other numbers up there. One's for the UK and one is for Ireland as well. So, but just a reminder, you know, go out on the internet. You can do a simple search and find resources that are local to you, maybe through your government, through your healthcare provider, whatever it might be. You know, if these don't work for you, if you're in a different country or something, um, you know, obviously I can't research everything across the world, but you know, if you can get on the internet and do a simple search, you can find stuff that's available to you. But you know what? Just talk to people you know. Let them know what you're going through, okay? Ask them to listen to you. It feels a lot better when you're sharing, okay? Share the burden of what you're going through with friends, okay? It does help. It really does. And if you are on the receiving end of that, if somebody says, hey, hey you, I'm, I'm struggling, please, please stop what you're doing and listen to them, okay? Because they're opening up to you and letting you know they're in pain. And you never know, you could be like that last person they talk to before they do something really tragic. So... Please stop and, you know, give them a time to talk to you and listen to them. And maybe you can help them by connecting them with these resources or other resources nearby. All right. I think it's really important to talk about this kind of thing. Okay, you guys, um, it's nothing to be ashamed of. And the more we talk about it, the more we can prevent tragedies. Okay. All right, you guys, I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. I will see you on my next video. Bye, you guys.